to Heart of Darkness, where today we're going to continue where we left off and why is this sucking. Game. Please. Okay, sorry about that. We're going to continue where we left off. And we left off, we had just defeated France and taken Alsace Lorraine. Now we're going. The next nation we're going to need to fight is Denmark. Nordde Free Schleswig. There's these two provinces right here. First, we're going to look at our newspaper. War between Prussia and France. Yes, there was a war between Prussia and France. It was victorious. So, how is our influence doing? Saxony. How are we doing? Oh, you're not discredited in Saxony. Let's get going. Alright. Everything looks good. Now we just need to reorganize our armies because our armies are terrible. How they're organized. I came up with an idea to organize armies. Oh. Uh, Five and in six infantry, unless there's an engineer. Let me toss the engineer in there. Two cav and two artillery. So, this army is going to Berlin. You get organized. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, two. And you go to Stetten. As always, if I'm pronouncing something wrong, please tell please let me know. Three infantry. So with one art more artillery, this makes an army. So let's build the armies that we need. One artillery. That'd be three armies. Then we need three more armies, so. Two, three, four, five, six. Never mind, okay. Inventory first. So. I'm gonna make probably one more army. Because of our lack of things. Lack of soldiers. We can build one more army. So not as not as many soldiers as I would like. We need more soldiers if we're gonna take on the Austrians, but this is what we got. We're gonna have to work make it work. Actually, don't go there. Go to Dusseldorf. And I think we're good to go. Not many people working on our factories. Ooh, but capitalists have projects. Build those factories, capitalists. And let's go. Pause the game. Come on. Let's get these factories built. Come on. If this is how you invest in factories. Ooh. Liberal agitation removed. Excellent. Dynam expanded their war with Siam to acquire Siamese Laos. Interesting. Keep investing. I'm in a fabric factory. Don't mind if I do. Yes. Market structure. Awesome. That gives us more diplomatic influence. With business regulations, we can get even more. That's always a good thing, especially when your plan is Prussia. What's the newspaper say? Armistice signed, the Russian Empire surrenders. That was not a great war. Great wars haven't been unlocked yet. What are you talking about, game? Whatever. 
Brazil and Colombia are at war. Ionian Islands are still a thing. We expanded. Victory. And we have warm relations with Saxony. Speaking of those warm relations, let's get some even warmer relations. Increase relations. Aw, yeah. Yeah. Keep investing in this project. Ooh. Increase our opinion. Oh, set, and we should. Oh, did not mean to do that. Oh, we can add them to our sphere. Ooh, that's perfect. It's time to beat up Denmark. Okay, we can stop influencing both Holstein and Saxony and, fo sorry, and Luxembourg and just focus on Saxony. Austria should discredit us. There we go. And how long will that discredit last? Until the 9th of April, 1838. Awesome. But, because we have Holstein in our sphere, it's time to go beat up Denmark. Oh, too high relations with Denmark. Alright, we'll work on that. Bum, bum. Bukhar declared war on Kokand. Interesting. It's not gonna matter, Russia will conquer them eventually. Let's see if we can upgrade some naval bases. Nope. Okay, it looks like all our naval bases are as good as they can be. Ah, well, it was worth checking. Let's keep decreasing relations with Denmark. One more decrease relations, and then we can justify a war against them. Wonderful. On the 13th of November, we can decrease relations again. And now, when the diplomat comes back, you can justify some war. Ooh, Burma is going to humiliate Siam, and Brazil's accept the offer of peace with Colombia, acquire Colombian Amazonas. Yeah, Brazil's trying to get their cores back. Brazil starts with cores on uh, Colombia, Bolivia, and Paraguay. Looks like they're losing horribly to Bolivia. Oh yeah. Or the Pacific is not going too well for the Brazilians and the, Ch and the Chileans. Interesting. Right, on the 28th, we can justify a war. We haven't taken a single point of infamy at this game. Which is interesting, because usually get discovered like immediately. What we're gonna do is we're going to free the people of Schleswig. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Budget is doing fantastic. Any more projects? Yep. Just get them all. We need more industry. Ooh. Yeah, let's negotiate with the leaders. I'd rather have consciousness than militancy. Militancy is terrible. You never want militancy. Next, we have more liberals in the upper house. Lost some reactionaries and conservatives. Interesting. Keep investing. Are we funding our army properly? Yeah, we are. How's our factories doing? Any f no factories need expanding yet. Interesting. Ooh, factory input efficiency. Love factory tech. It's always good. Come on, let's get that liquor distillery in Ostprusen. Come on. Game, I know you can do it. Missing to buy some more machine parts. There we go. Perfect. 
Persia has acquired Kokandi, Tajikistan? Wait, what? Oh no, Bukhar acquired that from Kokandi. Okay. Persia was the leader in that war. Got it. Oh no, 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 no. I hate Milton Seed. We gotta take it. Oh well. New newspaper. The Belgian Fear. Um, what are they afraid of? They're afraid of the Netherlands. That's a good thing to be afraid of. The Netherlands and Belgium attack each other quite a bit in this game. Oh, when was that, um, describe it gonna end? Oh, come on. When does the discredit end? <sighs> so annoying. If anyone knows how to properly show that, when the discredit end, like get to that screen from here, I would love to know because this is really an quite annoying. Uh. Oh well. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Group these guys up. Can we build more ships? Yes, we can. Uh, let's build some clipper transports. We're gonna be doing some imperialism later. Everyone knows Empire requires clipper transports. See, so yeah, we're gonna need to get our our army back up to par if we're gonna have a chance of fighting Austria. All right, and free the people has been gained against Denmark. Now we need to dissolve our alliance. When that diplomat comes back, it's time for war. Let's get our troops in position. 30,000 should be plenty. How good is this guy? Um, He's immoral background, and different personality. Uh, he'll have to do. He will have to do. Oh no, we got rebels. Who is it? Prussian reactionaries? Why? What? The reactionaries are in power, I don't understand. Why? I don't, I don't even know. Wait, what nation? What nations can we release? Hold on. Oh, Danzig, Lithuania, and Poland. Okay. I don't even know. Alright. Not the Jacobins. Please no Jacobins. Jacobins are really annoying. Free the people of Schleswig. In Danish Schleswig Holstein. Call our allies. Ooh, everyone looks like they're gonna join. Awesome. Sweden? Oh, I don't have my alliance with Sweden anymore. I'm gonna get that first. Hang on. Because Sweden would love to beat up Denmark. They would absolutely love it. Okay. Sweden accepted our alliance. Negotiate with the leaders. Always take consciousness over militancy. No Jacobins, just the reactionaries that make no sense. Wants to clear war? Come on. Call our allies and proceed. The Prussian War of Schleswigian Freedom. Let's wreck some fools. Saxe Weimar, Oldenburg, Nassau, Saxe Memmingen, Mecklenburg, Lubeck. Basically everybody joined. Let's go. And Holstein can't join against us because they're in my sphere. Oh, 
Looks like Sweden has them under control. Oh no, they don't. I'm gonna need to go in. Alright, allies, you siege them down, I'll wreck them. The Chamber of Commerce protests. More liberals, more consciousness. Yeah, no militancy. Hate militancy. Yeah, they're they're getting wrecked. Are they? No, they're not. Oh, there we go. That helped. Even still, they're not getting wrecked. This makes no sense. Weird. And the Battle of Copenhagen was a victory. Let's siege it down. Siege it down, boys. Siege everything down. Well, you guys suck at sieging. Spain declared war in Morocco? Yeah, that happens. You want peace, Denmark? Are you ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, you should be ready. I would do that, but let's see if anyone else wants any more war goals. If anyone wants to add some war goals, I would be happy to oblige. War between Prussia and Denmark. Indeed. <laughs> Alright, you gotta control Copenhagen. Um, go back to Stetton. Ah, and that one artillery. He is ready. Okay, you, get over there. Denmark offers peace. Humiliate Denmark. And there we go. Oh, we should be able to influence Saxony again. Right. Right. Here we go. Come on. I want that North German Federation. <laughs> I want it. Yep. Oh, great. I want that NGF. Give me that NGF. They shall sing, not debate. Gain one plurality and one consciousness from all poor strata. In 1838, 42 choral societies from the Rhineland, Baden, Hessen, and Franconia met in Frankfurt to celebrate a three-day festival of Mozart's music. The event turned into a demonstration for the political unification of Germany, however. But that's what we want. Oh, that's a ton of consciousness. Oh, we haven't taken a tiny point of infamy. Oh, yes! Coronation of Queen Victoria, thank you. Oh, that's perfect. We are almost to the North German Federation, my friends. We are almost there. Just gotta get Hanover and Saxony in our sphere. And we have the North German Federation in the bag. <laughs> One, they hit 25. Okay. Now we stop. Let it run a few days. Um, let's get rid of some militancy. I hate militancy. And you gonna discredit. There we go. I didn't see when it was gonna run out. It lasted six months, I think, so in July in June. Towards the end of June. But yeah, full speed ahead on Hanover.
thing that's going to take the most time to form the North German Federation is Saxony, because you have to pull them out of Austria's sphere first, and then we can spear them. It's quite annoying. But that's what you have to do. There's going to be a lot of looking at this screen. Um, let's see if we can build another army. If that's a thing we can do. Looks like we can build eight troops total. Yeah, eight troops is not enough for an army. We need ten. All right, back to the diplomacy screen. Come on. Give me that tasty, 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 tasty influence. We need that Northern German Federation. It just clears out so many states. It really does. Uh, how are rebels doing? Oh. Campaign for censored press. Well, if that gets strong enough, then there would be a reason to go for that. But I don't to go for a reform. But I don't want that reform. The reforms I want are school systems and healthcare. School systems because they give you more education, more education efficiency, which is awesome. And then, ah, uh, this because it gives more pop growth. Everything else doesn't do all that much good for you. And, well, I want to... I would be okay with some political reforms to get to an, um, a Prussian constitutionism or HM's government. Because those are fantastic. You get elections so you can influence your people. And you get to appoint your own ruling party because it's... It's a monarchy. It's wonderful. 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 Just gotta wait till about the end of June, then I can start influencing Saxony again, I think. I think it's six months. I'm pretty sure it's six months for discredits. 180 days. So about six months, yeah. Springtime of nations. The relative quiet of the early 19th century is broken with a crashing revelry in 1839 as liberal agitation erupted to open revolution across the continent. The monarchical ancien regimes of Europe would only look on in horror and disgust as the hymns of the French Revolution could again be heard echoing from Europe's tumultuous streets. And students and youth gather under Republican tricolors, celebrating the ideals, dreams, and wishes of a young generation animated by the powerful message of human liberty and economic, cultural, and that, social and national affairs. That was European liberalism. Oh no. That's a lot of militancy. Oh, that's a lot of militancy. Okay. Oh, that's a ridiculous amount of militancy. Hanover? Ah, Hanover. Add to Sphere. Oh no. That middle can see. Uh, French Liberation Movement? You're crazy. Oh no. Oh no. Suffrage movement. That's a pretty strong movement. Urgh. Come on, people. You're gonna need to start voting for these soon. Oh, this militancy is terrible! I do not want to deal with revolts. Just in case revolts do pop up, I am going to put all my armies on uh, hot rebel mode. And just in case we do get a rebellion. I really hope we don't. 10? 10, 10, 11. Okay. Uh, stupid glitches. 
Hussars. Two Hussars. And two Cannons. Go to Saarbrücken. And the new army will meet in Berlin. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I can. Child labor law passed. Gain 2.2 prestige. More consciousness. Okay. Come on. Don't spawn. Don't spawn. Looks like they're losing support. Oh my, that suffrage movement. They got some support. Wow. Anyway. Influence. Go. Saxony is a go. <laughs> You're going to need to pull Saxony out of Austria's sphere. In fact, let's improve, increase our relations with Saxony. So this goes even faster. What's up? Coronation of Queen Victoria. Yes, Spain goes to war. Russian Empire fears our might. Yes, they sh as they should. Oh, looks like they did win the War of the Pacific. Antofagasta now belongs to Chile. Did they really? Yep. They took Bolivia's coastline. Take that, Bolivia. Okay. Influence. Very important. As Prussia. But basically, to form the North German Federation, you need to have all of the German cores that are North German culture under your control, in your sphere at least. And remove from sphere. Keep influencing though. They are now in nobody's sphere. And it doesn't look like it looks like Austria doesn't care. I think they're fighting over fighting France over the South German states. Ooh, reform. Yes. Quickly, reform. Give them some voting. We have to do that. Only landed though, but it's voting. We're still absolute monarchy. Interesting. Look how much that quelled the revolts. That quelled the nationalism. Look, sorry, militancy! Ugh. Can't speak. <laughs> Look how few people. Actually, it's a lot of people the reactionaries have. But they have no revolt risk, so it's okay. How's. Um. Factory's doing. Ooh, machine parts factory. I like machine parts factories. Um. No one needs expanding. Subsidize. Open. I want to help these factories get built, but this is more important. This one tab. It looks like Austria's not doing anything, so I can... We will help Russian constitutionalism. The political reforms enacted in the past few years have led to a situation where the absolutism of a monarchy can now legitimately be called into question. No longer is the king free to dictate the course of the nation to his own musings, but instead has had to accept several constitutional hems and restrictions on his exercise of power. For these reasons, our government form is no longer most accurately described as an absolute monarchy. The type of government changes to Prussian constitutionalism. Sad day. We cannot oppress our people like we once could. Come on, we need that machine parts factory. You gotta buy machine parts to open a machine parts factory. Logic. What did we do before there were machine parts? Um, diplomacy. That's military. Oh yeah, Austria's not caring at all. Rebels. Rebels. Yeah. I think we're good on rebellions because of that one reform. It gave us a tiny bit of voting. Oh yeah, we're so close to getting Saxony in our sphere, it's not even funny. Well, 
Looks like we're getting close to a good wrapping up point. Oh, the elections of Prussia are starting. Elections are interesting. Basically, we're gonna in with elections you can influence your people. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this episode once the North German Federation is formed, which is gonna be right about now. So, the North German Confederation. While Germany was not united until the proclamation of the German Empire following the Franco-Prussian War, which already happened in our game, but that's not important. Rising nationalism in the 19th century had meant that unification had been on the cards long before that, with the Frankfurt Assembly of 1848 being an important forerunner. By achieving a dominant position among the North German states, we can form the North German Confederation. Gain 16.5 prestige, and everything will become North German Federation. And there we go. And look at that. We got little tiny Luxembourg. Because it's got some North Germans in it. Interesting mechanic, but that's how it works. Anyway, I've been Techman20. And this has been North uh, Victoria 2, where we have formed the North German Confederation. I'll see you guys next time.